Hey Dana, I'm out here in front of 893 Hunter Circle. Um, I'm gonna give you a quick tour and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Um, so super quiet street. And then I just wanna give a little view here. We got a little backlit sun, so it's not gonna be the best of peak one, but that's that's kind of where, where, what we're looking at from this corner lot. And this house over here, they paid about what, I think it was, I gotta go back and look, I'll, I'll email it to you. But they probably put in, they gutted the entire thing. And um, it's beautiful. Um, I'll send you a little walk by video of it. But um, probably, I don't even know, million bucks. I wouldn't be surprised. So anyways. Uh, okay, just real quick too. I just want to point out, um, it's got a roof that's probably uh, about 10 years old. Um, exterior is not terrible, but it definitely needs some attention. Um, and uh, I'm not sure where the little dirt pile is about, but uh, what uh, I also want to point out the, the hot tub enclosure is ridiculous and others have done these really nice outdoor decks um, that you can see down the line here and it's way more appropriate uh, to the view corridor which is which is peak one and again I'm sorry it's backlit right now um, that helps a little bit but that's that's the view and real quick, I'll just show you what these guys did. Let's just zoom in on that. So really nice contemporary deck. You can go bigger. Um, they did a little cover thing. So uh, this is the house that's spent a ton of money on. But anyways, this deck out here could be improved. I would take that little hot tub room off and uh, that would be a big benefit. Here's the garage. It's a pretty modest one car garage. Um, pull, pull away here real quick. That's kind of how all these are. Um, some of the lots offer a little more space and some people have made them a little bigger, but it's a very simple, straightforward one car garage. All right. So just upon entry, um, you guys can start to get a feel for the space. Let me uh, turn from this angle. a little bit that gives you a little better shot so you know it's a really comfortable living space uh it's a wood wood burner uh fire you know real wood burning fireplace and um uh, that could obviously be changed to gas you have obviously natural gas here and then we'll just go ahead and pan um this is you know original kitchen with the wonderful mirrored back of the cabinets a very simple fix is to obviously just Remove those cabinets, open that up. Um, this wall is non-bearing. That could come out and you can really do some cool things with the, with the space. Uh, but, you know, it's clean, it's all functional, but, you know, obviously we're, we're on the dated scale of things and it's gonna be priced accordingly. So this is the enclosed hot tub room, which is not my favorite. Um, it's just too good of outdoor space, uh, but it does give you, I can zoom in. So, sorry, let's try this view. So there's your view. That's, that's, um, that's, the, that's 10 mile range. You got basically uh, Mount Royal over here and then uh, peak one and uh, uh, Mount Victoria kind of in front of us. Uh, video is not really giving it justice right now where I'm standing, but um, it's awesome. I mean, it's a really just a nice corner lot. All right, and let's go, we'll start upstairs.
So the, the thing about these properties, if you guys remember, um, they've got really good separation, but it is a split level, kind of half up. You've got um, bathroom that again, if you were to put some money into this, you, you, this wall does not need to be here. You can open up this bathroom. Um, it all functions, it's great. It's just that you could probably use a little updating. So that's the half, that's again, a little, a little half up to the first bedroom, then another half up to the primary. And I'll give you a little pan downstairs. Pull this out a little bit. Okay. And then we're into the primary. Um, got blinds closed. Let me see if I can open this. This might give us a little better view. Oh, actually, we're on the other side. I forgot it's the, the window over there. Anyways, I, I won't mess with this one. That's your, this is your view window here. <clears throat> and then we've got the primary bathroom and closet, which I think is locked right now. So <clears throat> what um, we've talked about before, but basically um, people have, have kind of walled the bathroom up and uh, enhanced both the vanity and um, uh, bathroom, shower, um, get rid of the tub. And then um, it's, it really can enhance the space quite a bit. But as is, it's totally fine and functional, but just, just let you know what people have done. Okay. And then we'll just wander downstairs. Again, this is the uh, into, into the garage. Again, nothing too ex too exciting here, but there you have it. And then this comes down into the secondary living space, which I think is great. I'll pull it out a little bit and give you that view. Um, it is garden level. So let me pull this up for you. Um, we do have a cracked window, but again, that's like a $250 repair, but garden level still even get views from this level, which is pretty darn cool. Uh, it is a natural gas um, hot water heater, uh, as you can kind of see here, uh, a little extra storage, but uh, pretty pretty baseline there. Uh, more storage here, actually pretty decent here. Washer and dryer should be here. There you go. And then we've got um, um, kind of a little bunk room these guys have done down here. Again, garden level. Um, and then you can kind of see they got a little day bed kind of sandwiched in the corner, which totally works. Um, still at garden level, so nice and bright down here on a sunny day. And then we've got the lower bedroom, or I'm sorry, lower bathroom. And um, again, everything functions fine. Just definitely on the dated side, but overall conditions, not bad. It just, just has some datedness to it. So, um, so there you have it. Uh, we will talk soon. Thanks.